What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Come to you on another video. Here we are in an ash for now. We're watching it. This is at Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Come to you on another video. Alright, so uh, let's take a look over here at Trade Dixis. Um, if you watched my earlier video today on platforms, I covered a series of platforms. I had it originally set with Trade Dixis in it, but seeing the level of activity that's going on with Trade Dixis, it looks like it's setting itself on its own as being a premier sort of in a sense like a legacy platform uh even though i have it in my mid-level series uh and the it's getting some traction a lot of traction and it's one of those platforms to me when it's kind of like a legacy uh as such that you know it, it deserves its own you know solo content and that's the reason why i'm doing trade Dix is solo uh, today here and probably from here on out um, so here's trade dixes uh, trade smarter not harder it kind of kind of in a sense reminds me of visible AI uh, in a sense right um, and as you can see here these are the packages that they have to offer very reasonable packages so 1% a day for 15 days 5,000 minimum right 1.2% a day for 25 days, $1,000 minimum. And then max growth, 1.5% a day for 30 calendar days, $50 minimum. I mean, to me, it makes, makes sense to just go to this one, right? But I went with this one just because it's it's kind of in the middle, right? In that time frame um, between these two, the 15 and the 30, got the 25. So, you know... I, but the way it's going, uh, it's it's very interesting, the setup of how it goes and where it's going. Because, like I said, there's a lot of coverage on it right now. And it seems like the popularity is growing with Trade Dixes. So, uh, higher ranks, higher returns for this leadership part. So, you start off with 5%. Uh, so, if, if this is for if you're sharing the opportunity, right? For those of you that like to share. Um everybody starts off here all right five percent on commissions for sharing right someone comes in under you and then uh, having a deposit does play a part because as you can see if you have a thousand dollar personal deposit it opens it up from instead of a five it'll be six two and one now if you have at least five thousand in you're gonna have a seven three two and one if you have at least ten thousand in, it opens up across even more eight three two two one so that all depends on how much your deposit is to open that up, right? Uh, they have PDF documents on um, the way that, you know, the functionality of this platform, how it works and all that. Uh, they do daily Zoom calls. So it's very, very active. And uh, they got a lot going on here. I mean, in, in a good way. Uh, Jake, the master trader, uh, I've, I've been pointing out since the very beginning, very familiar face in this space. Um, so he is out there, right? We're, we've seen him. Uh, yeah, the CEO, co-CEO here, and then CFO here. And, uh, that's where it's at. They got the marketing department and administration here. If you want to contact them on that, on anything of related to that, you can check out the certificates, the companies, all that stuff. All right. Um, from there, let's go inside the cabinet all right so looking at the cabinet so you can see here uh, live trading zoom they did a week ago and that uh, was what we have so far uh, I put in a thousand dollars you know to get started and uh, from there uh, I have an $88 balance of 84 there and then four dollars 20 cents on that and they have an exchanger Oop, let me get rid of that so for example I could convert tether to Bitcoin right or tether this tether to Bitcoin huh very interesting it looks like it's a like for like maybe I should do that huh Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, we're going to test out this exchanger. We'll do the small one first. 
to Bitcoin. That one's exchanged. And then uh, now it's Bitcoin, 415, right? So $84 to uh, Bitcoin now. Uh, I'm going to do that too. Yeah, that was pretty quick. So now I've exchanged it combined now 8731, right? They take a little bit of a fee, right? Because all together was like 88 something to get you know, before. So the fee is very minimal, right? But now I can pull out what I desire, right? I want that Bitcoin. So I'm going to withdraw Bitcoin. $10 minimum to no limit. So cool. I'm going to pull that out. All right. Uh, 8731. And I need 2FA. Uh, put that in. And bam. All right. Let me round it. All right. 87. And there it is. All right. Cool. Very cool. And as you know, it's not instant withdrawals, all right? So, you know, some people like to overreact. You know, you got to make sure you read the FAQs. That's why I always read the FAQs to you guys, you know, just so we are all aware of what and how it's being paid out, right? So, minimum withdrawal. So, very reasonable, only 10 bucks, And uh, some of these are only $2. Some are only $5. So, it's not bad. Uh, but it doesn't tell you how long the withdrawals take. So, does it say here? Yeah, it doesn't say. But anyhow, it's not instant though, all right? So, <laughs> just saying. Um, you just got to be patient and it does come through. And plus, they're running hard right now, so... Uh, I don't anticipate this going anywhere anytime soon. I think it's going to have a nice, decent run. But uh, let's take a look at my trading package for right now. So I, you know, like I said, put in a thousand dollars. I put it in for 1.2 percent for 25 calendar days, and five days left. Oh shit! I better just keep that in mind. January 10th. I want to make a note of that. Trade Dixis. January 10th, it expires. That way it reminds me. So it's the day before the Super Bowl. I'm not sorry, not the day before Super Bowl. Uh, five days. Man, I'm just off my calendar right now. I was thinking February 11th is the Super Bowl, right? So uh, five days from now, today is now the 30th. So um, February 4th, all right? So I want to keep that. I want to make a note of that. February 4th expires. As, is there 31 days in January? Let me make sure. Yep, 31 days. So today's the 30th. 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, February 6th. All right, so I kind of went off my thing here. February 6th. That's fine. All right, so uh, so that'll be next. Well, we'll keep an eye on next Monday, Tuesday, and go from there. All right, so um, that's Trey Dixis. Put in that withdrawal request. Did that last week, and that came through. Slightly bigger this week at eighty-seven. They're active. All right. But yeah, this thing's looking really good. Active Telegram group, daily webinars. I mean, they got everything going on here. The rates are reasonable, sustainable, maintainable, reasonable. And so uh, it's a very interesting platform. That's why I think this thing has some legs to go for a nice run. And the way it look is looking, though. It, you would hope that it, 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 it's kind of like Invisible AI, so you would hope that they got things right and, and, and in a better direction. And they got a bigger team of guys that are kind of running this thing, 
you saw the team, right? There's like, there's four guys there. Whereas the Invisible AI had one, maybe two guys, right? Because you had, uh, let's see, those two guys, uh, Lee and uh, the Asian dude, <laughs> Richmond or whatever. Uh, but I don't even know how much involved Richmond was with uh, Lee, right? Lee Dalton of Invisible AI. So let's just say it was just Lee. Because I don't know. I think the Asian dude was kind of like a partner, but I don't know how much direct involvement. It, it didn't seem like he had a, a big involvement with it. Um, and then with here, you have four guys, so they have a bigger, uh, team, you know, that represents different facets of the platform. And so it's possible that they can do a better job of running this thing. Um, and so far so good, right? They're showing live trades. They're doing a lot of right things, right? And like I said, there's a lot of, of YouTubers on board, people on board. It's growing along. I mean, it's a recipe for success, you know, of running a nice, you know, decent term platform. So that's something that we should uh, keep in mind and keep a uh, look out for here. And then kind of go about there. So, um, yeah, trade Dixus, check it out. And while you're at it, you know, subscribe to everything I got. When it comes to everything I got going on, all right, everything I got going on, I do a lot of platforms, yes, but I do it for a reason because it's called diversification, all right, and you could listen to some of the other YouTubers give their stupid rendition of what they don't believe in doing multiple platforms, all right, that's fine, you can put all your eggs in one basket, but when things don't pan out because of, you know, it doesn't meet the expectations, then what? You're stuck in a hole, right? Because you overly, you know, put yourself into one platform when you could have just spread yourself out, right? And and part of that diversification besides an array of platforms is diversification of risk, right? Some platforms are going to be higher risk, some are going to be lower risk, and then, you know, others would be in the middle, right? So my whole thing is that it's running and as platforms come, well, platforms go, right? But guess what? We are constantly earning and earning and earning every day, pulling out something every day, right? That's why I'm here every day. You see me every day on YouTube, right? If, if you're following along with me on YouTube, you subscribe to my channel, you see I'm posting something every day. I'm pulling out something every day. All right, non-stop every day since 2019 on YouTube. Think about that for a second. It doesn't matter how much it is. It could just be 10 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever, right? It could be $1,000. It could be, you know, 40 bucks. Like you saw a series of videos. All I pull out, you know, randomly, you know, 50 bucks here, you know, 100 bucks there, 20 bucks here, you know. And to me, over time, it adds up, right? And that's what we do. And, you know, if it, and if it takes off and run and you gain more out of it, then that's what happens, right? You gain more out of it. So that's what this is all about. It's all about just, you know, being able to, uh, you know, go around in the space, get the opportunities, jump in on it, and uh, maximize the opportunities and the earning potential that you have, you know, and, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a it's a good thing to do, and it's a great way to go about things. All right, hey. But if you don't like that idea, then don't do it. Go ahead, go into that one platform, all right, and let those other YouTubers fool you into thinking that they put their hard-earned money into it, right? Like that dick bag Marcos, right? He puts a hundred thousand dollars of uh, fake deposit in there because he really didn't, all right? Because who in their right mind? To, sorry, I mean. Nobody really puts $100,000 deep into it, right? Uh, especially a dick bag like him. He's he's scared as shit to do that, all right? Um, no sweat off his back, you know, when other platforms failed. And, you know, he puts his so-called deposit in there. It's all fake. So I'm just saying, all right? This is real, all right? I'm the real deal because I do what I say and I say what I do all the damn time. So that's your latest trade, Dixus. Links down below, comment down below. Subscribe to everything I got. I'll see you in the next one.